First day of the New Mexico State Fair very much underway and there's a lot to see this year, including a sweet appearance by some rescue like horses. Like the animals a lot. Yeah. Anchor Sasha Linager is live at Expo New Mexico. Sasha, organizations are trying to get these horses adopted. Yeah, run on Dorlean. So if you come to the northern end of the state fairgrounds next to the equestrian center, you'll see a lot of horses just like this cutie here in the stables. And earlier today we met a handful of horses that are up for adoption, but they do have some heartbreaking backstories. But a handful of organizations have spent a lot of time getting them ready for some new homes. Meet Brave, a roan horse who was about dead when he was found. Brave had West Nile virus. He was found in a field with another horse. We didn't expect him to live through the night. But with a little TLC. We were out there at daylight the next morning, and to all of our surprise, he was up. And this is Peanut. She was a stray walking alone down the highway at six months old. So she's been at training for four months, and, um, and she now is adoptable. She's still what we call green. But she's very rideable and she's ready to go to a good home. These are just two of the horses looking for a new home while at the New Mexico State Fair. It's all part of the horse show and tell event being held by the New Mexico Equine Rescue Alliance, a group of 10 local organizations who rescue horses. We're just trying to bring awareness to the fact that the number of abused and abandoned horses are growing. Larry Smith with Walk In, in Circles says that is partly due to the economy and the pandemic where a large number of horses were bought. Now that COVID's kind of going away, I think people are getting back. And some of them are saying, well, this is more work than we thought. His organization, along with the nine others in the alliance, rescue horses that were abused, surrendered, or taken by the livestock board. But it's not cheap, especially for these organizations that are based on donations. Susan Hemmerly with the Horse Shelter says it costs about three grand per year per horse just for general care. Horses can live into their 30s, and so it's really important for them to find a good home. I'm not going to promise that we always have the horse you need, but but it's really well worth the chance. Just like Brave and Peanut, who had a rough start, but are looking for that fairy tale ending. Now, all those horses shown in our story today were at the state fair earlier today and shown, and most are available for adoption. For more information, visit our website and click on the story. Live at Expo New Mexico, I'm Sasha Leninger, KOAT Action 7 News. Back to you. Asha, before <laughs> you go, we need you to bring Peanut back. What a sweetie. You can ride him back to work. At least arrange a ride or something, you know. <laughs> such a sweet I think opportunity. I need a cowboy hat for that, don't I? Yes, we need to get you one. But such a sweet opportunity to really showcase these animals that need homes. Uh, really beautiful story. Thanks, Sasha.